Hello, hello, ho hoons. I'm back again. This is your handful mama with another video. Today I'm gonna be um doing some legs, chicken legs. I'm not gonna put them on the grill this time, I'm just gonna do them in the oven. So I want to show you guys what I'll be adding to these today. I'm gonna be using some oregano leaves, some parsley flakes, chicken season salt, garlic powder, minced onion, and last but not least, paprika. That's what I'm going to be using today on these legs. So, I got about 10 plus legs here. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the paprika first. And get that on every leg. Make sure they're good and coated with that paprika. I think I got that paprika down pat. I was saying it wrong for a while. Next, I'm going to be using this minced onion so I can get that good old flavor. And these are going to be barbecue. They're going to end up being barbecue legs. Next, garlic powder. And as you seasoning these, if you want to use these same ingredients, these ingredients are, you can pick them up from Walmart. And you can season it however you like. I like to put a little extra seasoning on mine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the oregano. Oregano, y'all. They looking good already. Ain't even been in the oven yet. And parsley flakes. So this is basically just my little dry rub that I'm putting on here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys in the oven for around about maybe 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and add the barbecue sauce on the bottom of the legs and also on the top. So you guys, I'll be back in 30. Okay, Hans, I am back. Okay, if you can see, the legs have been on for... 30 minutes and they're not done but they're almost there uh, so what I'm gonna do if you can see this excess juice in the bottom um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out in the sink real quick okay you guys I have that out and now I'm going to get my barbecue sauce So you guys, what will you all be cooking on you? Will you all be uh, barbecuing chicken? Will you be doing hamburgers on the grill? Comment down below and let me know what you will be cooking for Memorial Day. Using my son, he cooks on the barbecue grill, but um, he was kind of tired. Had been working 12 hour shifts. They've been really busy. And uh, I didn't want to bother him with, you know, barbecuing for Memorial Day. So I just said, I'll cook everything in the oven. It'll taste just as good. Well, not just as good because on that grill, you know, it'd be super duper good. That barbecue be on point. But anyway, I have some barbecue sauce here, some honey from Walmart. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and add on. So how I do mine... I'm not going to rub it in a lot. I want it to just zigzag and just sit on top of there. So each bite, I will get that thickness of that barbecue sauce. So I'm going to just put it on here kind of thick, kind of heavy on each one of these uh, chicken legs. And at the bottom... Some of this barbecue sauce is probably going to drain to the bottom. And that's just perfectly fine. That's perfect. But when they get done, you can just get you a spoon and get that excess barbecue sauce that drains to the bottom. And just add it right back on top of those legs. Comment down below and let me know if you like a lot of barbecue sauce on your chicken. 
Because I know a lot of people just like them lightly coated. But I like mine with a lot of barbecue sauce. And what I'm going to do after I get finished with these, I'm going to get them back in the oven for another 30 minutes because I want mine to be done all the way through. And as you can see, all of my seasonings, they stayed on top perfectly fine. So when I bite in that, I'm going to be biting barbecue sauce and those seasons are still on the top. So this got to be good. And I plan on doing with this. I didn't want to do. I actually I got two packs of these drum sticks from Walmart, but I said what I'll do. I'll just put on one. I was gonna put on two, but I decided to go ahead and do some burgers. I'm gonna do some hot dogs, and so that's gonna be plenty. Then I probably end up doing some corn on the cob, and probably some um, baked beans. So I didn't want to cook too much. Now, as you can see, I have coated all of these up. And it took practically the whole bottle, which is okay, because these bottles aren't but 98 cents from Walmart. Okay, Hans, I'm going to stick this back in the oven, like I said, for 30 minutes. And I'll be back to show you the final product. Okay, Hans, I just took these out of the oven and remember when i said that if some of the barbecue sauce go to the bottom it'll be okay and this is what i meant by that you see how some of it ran to the bottom so if you want a little extra on the top of your drums just go to the bottom get that good old nice glaze from the bottom and just scoop it back on top and earlier I only put the barbecue sauce on the top because I know it was going to run to the bottom. I didn't turn them over and add barbecue sauce as well. I just put it on the top. And uh, when they got ready to come out, I just said, okay, I know I can just throw that back on the top. And it'll be okay. That's a piece of meat from the bottom. I'm just going to rake that off. So I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lift one of these up. I'm going to take all of them up first, make sure they're not stuck, but I know they're not because it's a, um, a lot of barbecue sauce still at the bottom. Okay, and as you can see, you can see on this one, you can kind of still see the parsley flakes on there, those green parsley flakes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up, and I want you guys to make sure you see that it is done in the middle. And I cooked these uh, for about an hour on 350. And the reason why I did about an hour, I wanted them to make sure they were done and tender in the middle. See, that's done in the middle. Cut that side off too. They just barely just falling off the bone. The meat just falling off the bone. Good and tender. So don't forget to comment in the bottom and let me know um, what you guys will be making for Memorial Day. If you plan on making something special, cooking something special or not. But I just uh, wanted to show you guys how I did my drum, my drums, my legs, however you want to call it. Some people call them drumsticks, some people call them legs. But I just wanted to show you guys how I did mine. Um, how I like to barbecue mine. Like I said, sometimes I put them on the grill. My son will put them on the grill for me. And they have that good smoky, smoky flavor. But these will taste really good. They won't have that smoky flavor. But they will be, they're really glazed. And it's a lot of barbecue glaze in the bottom. Where you can scoop some out and put it on your plate. Or you can um, just eat them like they, eat, you know, like they are. And um, you guys, guess what? It's time. You know my saying. But before I say that, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. And share this video with everyone that you possibly can. 
everyone needs to know how to cook these days because really times are changing so if we can save a few bucks and cook at home it'll feed more than we would usually get like at a restaurant this pack right here a chicken it was only uh four dollars and 32 cents exactly at walmart so if you buy this amount of legs from maybe a restaurant you're going to pay this is 10 or more legs you're going to pay at least a 10 bucks or more so let's start thinking about that um so it's time i've said all i can say I remind you guys to comment video like like comment look at me can't talk I'm looking at these these legs y'all I can't talk but I said like this video don't forget to su subscribe to this video please comment and guess what I'm about to do, do you guys this one right here you guys look since I cut this one up and showed you guys I'm about to go to work on this one. See you, Hans.